Well, the country's largest ever property development project drew oohs and ahs when it was on the drawing board a few years ago. But now the Seoul Dream Hub project in Yongsan teeters on the brink of collapse. The funding dispute and the prolonged property slump may be to blame in this case. But as our economics correspondent Kim Ah Nul tells us, this $29 billion project is not the only one that is in trouble. It was to be the largest urban development project in Korea's history. The $29 billion project was aimed at turning Seoul's Yongsan district into an international business hub. When the project was first announced in 2007, the developers said the district would create more than 300,000 jobs and generate 60 billion U.S. dollars in revenue. But today, the development area is a ghost town. Businesses have closed and wilty offices are empty. This after the government banned the renovation or sale of properties in the development area. Residents put up flyers like these, calling for an end to the project and demanding compensation from the Seoul city government. There are some residents who want the project to continue, but most want the project scrapped and the ban lifted so they can carry on with their lives. Life is not going smoothly or normally for the people who live here. We can go back to our normal lives once the ban is lifted. Yongsan is not the only project under the risk of deep financial problems. According to Korea's land ministry, there are 28 of these large property projects in progress throughout the nation. All of them have one thing in common. They're based on a project financing structure, which involves long-term loans based on projected cash flows rather than the current financial state of its sponsors. Developers thought there were enough profits in these projects. But after the 2008 crisis, everything became very unstable. And these projects now come with huge risk. And with the uncertain outlook on the Korean property market, experts believe more of these high-risk, high-return development ventures are vulnerable to financial problems. Kim Ah-nul, Arirang News.